everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Shauna and welcome to Shauna's World. Yay! Oops. <laughs> Yay! So how's everybody doing? Yes, yes, I know. It's been a while. I've been in hiding, but now I'm back. Yay! <laughs> Yes, and as always, I have a new look. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Doing my makeup th today was a little bit frustrating. I was not able to find my studio, um, what do you call it, studio fix um, concealer, which I normally use for my eyebrows. I had to use something else, so that was a little bit stupid. So, you know, my eyebrows may be looking a little bit weird, but however, I'm anyway gonna go work out, yes. I'm Back into working out, back into working out. Oh, I like, I have this addiction to these yummy, 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 yummy candies and oh, I just love them. I mean, I was eating them every morning and I don't know, for some reason I just thought, you know, because on the back it says, oh, there's no fat. So I was thinking, oh, I don't have anything to worry about. Oh, but I did, I gained a little bit of weight from those things. Um, not good, so I've been like um, preventing from eating these yummy candies. I'm gonna show you these candies. Maybe you guys know it. Um, yeah, these are the yummy. And I'm always buying like two or three packs of these things. They're so yummy. These guys here, Harry Bowes. They're called um, French fries, sour French fries. Um, of course, it's translated in German, pommes sour. But basically, it's, um, yeah, they look like this. Oh, just taking one out, I'm just like, ooh, I'm so convinced. But, however, let's see, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, but I'm, I love these things. Ever since I've discovered them, I don't even eat any more uh, gummy bears. I mean, I haven't eaten gummy bears in a while, any either way, but they're so much better um, because it has like this sweet and sour taste to it. Oh, they're so yummy. However, they're very addictive for me. So I think because I was eating so many, I mean, I could eat almost a pack a day. I mean, whew. so I've stopped. I'm, I'm stopping and I'm getting back to working out. And um, yeah, I've been working out. I've been doing... Um, I've been jump roping because jump roping is supposed to be very good for helping to lose weight and to get you in shape, to get that cardio going. And I've also, I've also been hula hooping, believe it or not. Yes, hula hooping. And mind you guys, I can do, I can do hula hooping for like at least 20 minutes. I mean, 20 minutes is the most I've done. 15, anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes. I can do hula hooping. And uh, it's very good for the waist, for shaping up your waist. And uh, yeah, and you sweat with it, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, I also started uh, doing Pilates. I, I downloaded this app and uh, it's called Better Me. And uh, it's a really cool app. That's what it looks like. And there it has like a plan I bought, um, you can buy like, a. you could try out for seven days uh, for free, or you can buy like a month plan and then, you know, check it out and see if you like it. Or you can buy the, I think it, the next option was a year plan. However, I bought the month plan just to give it a shot. And uh, it's not bad. Um, honestly, I'm used to, you know, jumping, moving. Um, this is very slow for me. But I think it's good because, you know, I've, I've been having like a back pain on my right side forever. And for some reason, it's, I have not been able to really get rid of it. So um, I'm trying other methods to try to alleviate the pain. It's not always, but sometimes I notice like if I get out of the bed or if I haven't moved for a while, then I feel it. So, um, you know, before I really, I was extreme uh, 
person for doing sports. I mean, I used to do it every day. I was playing tennis and then I was doing my workouts on top. And so, of course, I was like this big. But um, I don't know, because I, you know, all of, sudden, all of a sudden stopped, especially during the pandemic 2020, um, I slowed down and um, yeah, I haven't really kicked it back up since. I mean, uh, was it a year ago I was doing my my um, weight journey uh, trip or blogs, should I say? And uh, that went well. And then I don't know, I slipped, you know, you know how that is, you get... You miss one or two days and then you out of the rhythm almost. And then I just kind of got lazy with it. And oh, and another thing too, I had um, I had pains in my um, knees, my knee area. So that was another reason why I didn't go into, go into the gym. But now I'm, I'm okay. So I'm starting to, you know, slowly get back to training again because yeah, summer's coming around and who doesn't want to be able to fit into their nice... Um, swimsuit you know or have that just that nice banging body in general so and you just feel good so yes i've been doing that almost every day almost every day yesterday i didn't do it because it got too late but today i'm definitely i mean i got my gym clothes on so i am ready to roll <laughs> i'm ready to roll yeah what else is going on oh, oh my gosh i signed up oh man Something I always wanted to do. I've always found pole dancers to be really exotic. Okay, no, I'm not dancing or anything like that. But I just found it. I mean, I just, I like to watch. I think it's just so, so beauty if you can swing around the pole. And it's almost like an art, an acrobat, you know, whatever, whatever way you decide to put it. It's, it to me, it's beautiful. So I don't know. I just got this crazy idea. You know what? Why don't I, you know, see if I can find a class? And, and I found a class, so I'm going to start next Monday. I'm really excited about that. You know, I'm just thinking, okay, I might not be able to do the twirls and, you know, really do all the flips and all the acrobatic stuff. But, you know, if I could just swing around and make it somewhat look graceful for me, you know, I'm, I'm excited, you know, I, I think it's a, a really neat thing. And it's also a great workout for the arms. I mean, to be able to lift yourself up, I mean, respect. And then I was looking, okay, what if you're not like a size zero? I mean, is it still possible? You know, and so I saw like all sizes, you know, basically pole dancing or, you know, being able to twirl on the pole. So yes, I did. Yes, I'm doing a pole dance. I don't care. I'm excited. And um, it's like um, a four week class, I think a four or six week class. And so, yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to vlog. I like to show you all what it looks like. It's so funny. I'm so excited though. But yeah, that starts next week. And um, hey, what else is going on? Oh my gosh, I got so inspired. I found this one YouTuber. Yes, YouTuber recommendation. And her name is, what's her name? Uh, da, da, da. Oh, Wendy, Wendy Ida. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. She's 70 years old. And the woman has a body like a 25 year old. It's absolutely crazy, crazy. She has a body like a 25 year old. Uh, excuse me, I pressed something on my phone and it's recording me. Okay, yes. I mean, and she just so, ins she inspired me. And not only does, she, you know, her body's fit because she lifts weight. I mean, this woman is fit. You know, um, not only that, her she, her face, her appearance just looks so well. So, of course, she gives her, she has a YouTube channel. So, if you get a chance, check her out. Um, again, her name is Wendy Ida, I-D-A. And the name of her channel is called Healthy Ever After. So, like I said, she's 70. And she said that she didn't actually start getting into bodybuilding until like the age of 40 something. So I was like, even more like, wow, just goes to show you, you're never, you're never too old. It's never too late. You know, I think, you know, today with, you know, society always puts in, you know, only up to this age, you're allowed to do this or whatever. And it's like a no go, but yeah, times have changed. You know, people are doing everything and trying out everything. And, um, 
doing things where other people would say, wow, that's impossible. But no, it is possible. If you believe it, you know, if you believe you can, you will. So, however, yeah, she gives her tips on, you know, the things that she eats in the morning. And um, I've heard it from other women who basically age real well. I mean, a lot of them say they eat raw vegetables. Um, they don't um, eat cooked vegetables or anything like that so i don't know i haven't gotten to that point i eat a lot of vegetables and a lot of salads but i haven't gotten to the point where i'm um yeah eating raw um <laughs> we'll see i, I don't know I'll, I'll try it out but yeah she was saying that she drinks a lot she drinks lots of water so um lots of water is i think key to losing weight and to stay healthy and young I was uh, telling my daughter, I was like, listen, I mean, you are young now, but start, you know, start taking care of your body. Start really taking care of what the things that you eat and drink tons of water, you know, um, and don't do too much party. I mean, you can party and stuff, but stay away from those hard alcohols, you know, because they will catch up with you eventually, you know, um, you got to drink plenty of water, drink plenty of water and sleep, get your sleep. You know, of course, the older you get, I mean, sometimes I do have those days where I can't sleep and I'm, I won't fall asleep until like midnight or whatever, or even later, and then have to wake up again at six. So it wasn't a lot of sleep, but sometimes during the day, if I get too tired, then I'll take a short nap. But yeah, plenty of sleep is always key. Sleeping, uh, water, and try to get rid of your... Um, your um how can i say get rid of your get rid of your stresses if possible you know stress really good stress relievers i mean i guess everybody's got stress in one way or another but i mean i guess one good way to to get rid of that stress is to to work out and yeah and also disassociate yourself with people who bring on stress or try to spend at least least amount of time with them you know i think that also takes a part in your your outer appearance and um you know how you look and feel you know those those are key factors so however yeah i discovered this lady and wow she just inspired me because i was just like thinking wow this i could still have my dream body <laughs> i've always been like i always i was always thin but i never had like anything like rock hard like those nice legs and nice arms i would love to have that and to know that it's still possible you know it is possible guys so don't don't give up hope it's possible you know <laughs> so yeah she inspired me so i really got you know got motivated yeah other than that mm, oh i've been really i've been binge watching this uh reality show called too hot to handle Guys, if you get a chance, I mean, I know it's younger people, but it's still interesting. It's just interesting, you know, how how young people interact with one another. And a lot, the, the thing about this show is most of these people, I, I would consider them like nymphos. I mean, they're just like, gotta have it. You know, most of the people that come on this show, they have, um, they have Too Hot to Handle Britain, and then they have too hot to handle, I think, in America. And they got one <clears throat> too hot to handle Latino <clears throat> and too hot to handle Brazil and also Germany. And I've watched Latino, which is really, really good. And I'm currently now watching Brazil. I've watched the first season <laughs> and uh, now I'm on the second season and um, my daughter was watching Too Hot to Handle Germany, and um, we thought we had seen. Well, we had looked at. Um, uh, I guess a few years, two years ago, we checked out the Too Hot to Handle Britain and the American one. But I, I have to say, the best of all is the Too Hot to Handle Latino. I just think they're they're so. Um, I don't know. They're so. No, 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 not not Latino. The, the, the um, too hot to handle Brazil. Brazil, Brazilian people are very emotional and 
have a lot of temperament, really. I would say even more so than the Latino. Um, the men are very expressive. I mean, I mean, some of those guys came over there and they were like bawling tears. It's like, wow. Um, but basically the show is about, uh, you know, couples or people meeting up and then connecting with one another. And then of course they connect with one another on a sexual level. So um, this show is supposed to actually teach the young people instead of connecting on that sexual level to to connect on a yeah an inner level um with connecting with the mind and talking and you know and then later on the other stuff comes down a lot which makes a lot of sense i think it's good um of course you know like i said most of the people in there they're young they're in their early 20s some late 20s and yeah um they have to, um, first of all, when they, you know, come on to the show, none of them know that, you know, they, they actually think they're just coming on to the show to um, have a good time, party, and just do whatever. And then later on, this little robot comes on. Her name is Lana. And basically, she, basically, she comes out and she, you know, tells them, hey, this is, these are the rules of this house. And, um, you know, there's no kissing, no nothing, you know, basically everything that entails to, you know, connecting on a superficial level that's out. And so, of course, the pe you know, the people are all shocked. And then and then she tells them the good news that, you know, um, you know, there's a amount of money that you can win at the end of this retreat, basically, because it's a retreat, not a vacation. So, you know, they're like, oh, wow, yeah, we can, you know, you know, get, you know perhaps win this money at the end. And um, so that gives them a little motivation. And so basically, every time they break a rule, because this Lana, I mean, she's got cameras everywhere. So everything is spotted, noticed, you know, no kissing. And so if somebody get, you know, is caught kissing, that's a few thousand, you know. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of funny. So everything they do it has a penalty when it comes to superficial connecting with one another. So I don't know. It's cute. Um, like I said, I, I watched um, the, the one I liked the most was the Brazilian. Um, like I said, I felt like they were really in contact. And I don't know. I just like the energy. Um, the Latino was good, but I really felt like uh, I felt like I was watching something else, honestly, especially the first two episodes and how they started out. I'm like, dog, are people just that, um, I don't know, desperate or whatever? I mean, I mean, of course I can remember when I was young too and I had my moments, but my word, I mean, some of these uh, couples or people are really like, <laughs> I don't know, like rabbits basically. But however, I don't know. If you get a chance, check out this show. It's neat. I mean, there's a lot of good teaching um, messages. Um, and it's just interesting. I, I find it very interesting. And it kind of, like I said, it takes me back to, wow, how I grew up. And, and if you have kids or teenagers, I mean, I don't think it's a problem to show them this uh, show, you know, because it basically gives them some insight of, you know, when you connect on a superficial level, you don't really connect with that person. And perhaps that's the reason why there's so many, I don't know, people who, you know, they come together real quick, they're all in love, but they're not really in love. They're in love with the superficial side, you know? And so um, maybe people should try to connect on a another level instead of, you know, too quick and jumping around, you know, like bunnies. So... I don't know. To me, it's a positive message behind there. Um, and yeah, of course, it's funny to see who wins the prizes you know, or the money. Um, it's funny because each each country has their their own rules as far as, you know, coming to the end of the, the um, contest. You know, some couple, some people get voted as a couple to win the money or they might have something like where everybody wins money, like how it was in Latin, uh, the Latino Too Hot to Handle, which I thought was really good because everybody got a chance to get, you know, profit from this experience. 
um, Germany? No, they didn't. They had to elect a couple, which is also what they did in Britain. And I believe also in America too. I'm not a hundred percent sure. And Brazil was, um, oh, that was also interesting how they did it. They, you know, there were four people who were elected who had, um, showed the most improvement. And so the people who were elected had the choice of, you know, okay, guys, you, you each get, you know, a certain amount of money, like 90, 90 real, that's their currency in Brazil. And so they were like, okay, you, you can take the 90,000 real or you can share it amongst your peers. And so I thought that was really cute. It really put, you know, put people to the test, you know, especially, you know, people who are coupled and, you know, it's like, okay, are they gonna be greedy and take off with the money or are they gonna, you know, share it? And so at the end of the first episode, they wind up sharing it with each person. I'm sorry, I'm giving spoilers, but yeah, I just, I think it's neat. So if you guys get a chance, mm -hmm. oh, excuse me. <laughs> and if you want to have fun, okay, not fun, but I mean, if you want to see something exciting and nothing boring, then okay, Too Hot to Handle is a, a show to look at. It's, it's funny. <laughs> I, to me, I think the worst was Germany. Sorry, Germany, but I don't know. I just thought it was so lame. I thought they're, um, because one thing is when they're, um, when they're on this retreat, they have to, of course, participate in some of the activities as far as um, helping um, helping yourself to develop. So they might have a woman or a man come and then they'll have like these different um, workshops, what you can do to improve yourself. Like they might have a total workshop for men or just for women. And I don't know, they had some weird people who they hired to do these workshops in Germany. I mean, if you guys get a chance to check it out, y'all know what I mean. <laughs> these guys looked really like I don't know if I would trust them with my problems. <laughs> I don't know. But however, um, no, it was good. It's cute. Um, <laughs> yeah, what else is going on? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of course, I did some shopping. Oh, my goodness. I, for, for the first time, I bought a dupe. And this is the bag that they gave me. Oh, my goodness. This place was so cool. So basically, you can go in there and it's like an oil. They're, they're, their specialty is mainly oils. Um, and it's like oil dupes. And so then they, they can mix the scents for you and create your own scent. So, um, oh, this smells so good. I found a scent that I fell so much in love with. And um, I had them created. And of course, I got the biggest bottle. And I didn't pay that much. It was 90 euro, which is not bad. I mean, it, look, I got some Tom Ford in there and it's not that big and I paid 250. So this is good. And the size too, one second. Okay, so I'm back. Yes, so I had this, um, the scent or my, yeah, my perfume, perfume oil scent put together. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy. It smells really good. And um, and also, they even print out a label for you so you can name your own scent. And then, of course, they they uh, mention what the ingredients are that they put in there. So it's almost like a, a wood, because I, I, li I really like this um, wood, wood-like smell, if that makes any sense. Um, wood and vanilla. I like that. Almost like a fireplace, but not really, if that makes any sense. But however, so this has that scent, and um, yeah, so that I I called my bottle um, mujer, which is um, woman in Spanish. So I don't know, I couldn't think of anything because I was shocked. I didn't know they did all that, but it was a nice experience. Um, yeah, so this is my first uh, perfume. It smells good. <laughs> And like I said, for this big bottle, I paid, yeah, 90 euro, which is totally cool. I love it. So, and I think it's an awesome idea. It's actually an excellent idea. Um, it smells really good. Yeah, and the thing, it, this, it lasts the whole day. So, I don't know. I, I don't think I would do nothing but dupes, but, you know, um, I'm going to have like a good mixture 
of scents and perfumes and stuff. And so I actually wanted to try that out because a friend of mine, um, she recommended this place to me and, and told me, yeah, how they can create your own scent. And I just couldn't, I couldn't imagine. But yeah, now I know. I, I like it. It's neat. So yeah. And what else? Oh, yeah. And then, of course, I did a little bit. Of, yeah, did more shopping. I was at Douglas. Douglas is like our Sephora here. And um, I normally, when I apply my foundation, I always use um, this beauty blender. Right now, I have like a beauty blender. Um, um, it's similar to a beauty, beauty blender, but I have something like that. And that's how I usually apply my um, foundation. I just tap it on. But this time, yeah, I've seen it um, where people get a, a brush, a little fine brush to apply it. So I'm going to try that out just to to have different options. Because sometimes I notice with the Beauty Blender, um, I don't know, it looks kind of blotchy sometimes. I really have to go over it a few times to get that smooth look. So um, yeah, I'm going to try this out and see how that works. I'm, I hope it doesn't leave streaks, but I heard it's pretty good. I mean, it's a fine brush. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm going to try out a new um, foundation from Bobbi Brown. This Bobbi Brown was on sale. Um, the normal price for this foundation um, is 41 euro. And this is Skin Long Wear Fluid Powder Foundation. Um, I tried it. I, I just tested it and it, it looked pretty good. I, I was able to match my color. So the cool thing about this is that it has SP, SPF 20, which is... Um, good for it's like a sunscreen as well so I don't know if you guys had that um, problem I have it all the time when I go to Fort Aventura or any place is sunny I, I, I always have a, a hat on my head because um, I don't like the sun to, shining directly on my face but however even if I have the hat on my head I always come back and my foundation is kind of slightly off because of course I tanned even though I'm not directly in the sun, but still somehow I tanned and my foundation always looks crazy. So this is almost like a sun blocker, basically. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna try that out. Um, I've never tried Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown is a little bit more expensive than Mac, so I don't have too many products. I may, might have maybe one or two where I tried out their eyeliner. So I'm excited to see how that works. Um, and of course, I got my my normal foundation, which is the um, the NC45. That's my color, and then the Studio Fix Fluid, which this is like the go-to foundation. I love it. But like I said, during the summertime or if you're in a sunny area, I wouldn't consider it so good because, like I said, I always have to change it when I come back. My foundation is off. So um, and yeah, I um I love. I love, I love, I love, I absolutely love Yves Saint Laurent's eyeliner, and I'm so happy they did not discontinue it. Um, one lady from Sephora told me that they're no longer carrying the Yves Saint Laurent Couture eyeliner. But to me, this is the best eyeliner. I've tried all eyeliners. This one is the best. I mean, even from, you know, oops, even from the length of the, the uh, brush, the, the pencil just to apply it is perfect it stays on the whole i mean it, it's good it's good stuff it's a little expensive it's 30 euro but it's worth it and it lasts long i mean i can use this at least up to two two months two three months um and i use my stuff every day so this is a lot um i love that that is the go-to and it's not runny it, it just goes on perfect and I always, um, I don't really like the, they have two different kinds. They have the the matte, which is the one I like to use. And they have the vinyl, which is a little bit of a glossy um, eyeliner effect. I don't know if you can see, but it's not so um, glossy looking. I don't like that, but I like the matte more. So, yes, I'm so excited. So they did not discontinue that. And then one of the nice guys from Mac, they so nice. They had a um, special going on, so um, he gave me two free lipsticks from Mac. One, so they're discontinuing because they're always coming up stuff and discontinuing it. So I got that color. And this other color. Oh, oh and this color. 
such a nice guy, this color, which is really pretty. Um, I told my daughter she could have it. So I got so many lipsticks. So, yeah. And what else? I think that's it. Oh, and I got this free tester from Clinique. Um, it's a makeup remover. It's but water and oil based. I don't know. I To me, the absolute best... Um, the best makeup remover, uh, remover, remover is this um, Biotem. I love this stuff. Um, it, it's it's not so oily based. It's, it's just perfect. It's just right because a lot of times with these makeup removers, like I can see it with this, you already see the the difference between the water, the water sitting on the top, and the oil is at the bottom. Of course, you got to shake it, but I don't like it. I mean, it always is too greasy afterwards and this one is just perfect really you don't get no grease effect it is perfect you don't have to sit up there and scrub it to get the the um makeup off i love this stuff it's best it really is um i didn't they stopped selling it in germany and if they they did sell it and they had like a really small bottle so i get these big bottles from for the venture um they're the best um they're worth it i mean it's also like um, how much you pay? I pay 33 euro for it, but it's worth it. It lasts at least three or four months, if not longer, depending on how often you wear makeup. But, um, you know, that's the best. Um, I just need like three or four squirts and then everything is away. And like I said, you don't have like this greasy resin afterwards. So, yeah. And then, of course, I went to Zara, but I'll show you guys afterwards. I'm going to do a little Zara try on as usual. And, um. Uh, yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did give it a thumbs up <laughs> like i said i know it's been a while but i'm back i didn't go anywhere so yeah i upload videos guys i'm not gonna say when but i do upload videos sometimes i have my highs and then i have my lows and my mediums so but if you'd like to hear more from me subscribe that would be so great and uh, yeah, until next time, bye.